KSH International Church brings you Life Sermons Teaching, Healing and Deliverance with Pastor Tinashe and Ole Guru Pira. We are KSH International Church. Today, family, you are all greeted wherever you are. Welcome to this powerful segment um, and thank you for joining us. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, press that notification bell and subscribe and share to as many people as you can. Because you know, this powerful topic that we're going to be dealing with today, it's something that's very um, close to, to, it hits close to home. Because a lot of people are tormented by the spirit, but they have no idea how to tackle it. So this lovely day, we're going to be discussing on ways to identify that you are actually attacked you're under attack by the spiritual spouse because it attacks both mm. males, females, it attacks anybody. So sit back and relax. And we have Pastor Tinashe joining us on this wonderful session. How are you, Mama? I'm um, well, thank you. We thank the Lord. To our viewers, we welcome you to this powerful segment. Uh, you are getting your notebook. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I want you to go ahead and you subscribe right now. Powerful, informative uh sessions that we are always having and i want you to be the first to be notified uh wherever we are posting something uh new we thank the lord um mama we want to look at five uh signs that shows if you are married in the spirit that's right and to our viewers i want you to understand that this life is spiritual right. i want you to know that uh, it's not as physical as it is. And now you cannot solve anything that you do not know that it exists in your life. You cannot come with a remedy uh, to a problem that you haven't identified. But before we go, I just want us to, to pray before we go into the word of God. Uh, Father, thank you for your grace and uh, your power. Thank you for your mighty Lord. As we are gathered here, Holy Spirit, teach us your word in the wonderful name of our Lord and our personal Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We quickly, we want to go uh, to the first sign, uh, dreams. Right. You can, the quickest and the easiest way uh, to identify a spirit husband is through your dreams. So, sorry to interrupt the... Um... Pastor T. So are we actually saying um, you need to look out for these signs in order to know that, you know what, I'm under attack here. Yeah. Is that what you say? Because yeah. I'm asking on behalf of our viewers, because um, we want them to know that, listen, if this happens in your dream, if this happens in your daily life, then you know that I have to keep myself in check. You can't treat a, a sickness or a disease without realizing the symptoms. That's right. That's why the, the doctors will ask you, what are you feeling? What are the signs? They will ask you, even they can uh, take you to machines mm -hmm. that can diagnose the sickness or the disease. To know exactly where the pain is coming from. Yes. Out. Because you can't be saying, um, I have a headache, but you're pointing to your leg. Yes. So now many of us, we are captured by these spirit spouses and we don't know. You, you cannot divorce a spirit husband. You cannot break a spirit husband unless you come to a position whereby you're saying, I have one. So now, this is what we want to do. Uh, educate the body of Christ. When you see this, when you see that, don't ignore it. What is it? It's a sign that you are married in the spirit. But I want us to talk about dreams first. Okay. Just to put a note on there, we're going to be covering five signs. Um, that you should be looking out for to know that you have a spirit spouse, whether a spirit wife or a spirit husband. Okay. Please quickly turn with me in the book of uh, Job chapter 33, verse 14 and 18. The book of Job chapter 33, uh, verse 14 and 18. And those that are watching us um, from YouTube, the, the scripture will be uh, on the on the screen that's right uh, if you are there mama you can read for us and i shall read and this is job 33 mm -hmm. verse 14 to uh 14 to 18 14 to 18 and i shall read for god speaketh once yet twice yet man perceiveth it not in a dream 
in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men in slumberings upon the bed when he opened the ears of men and he sealeth thy instruction that he may withdraw men from his purpose and hide pride from men 18 he keepeth back his soul from the pit mm. and his life from perishing by the sword may god bless the reading of his word amen now now look at this i want you to teach yourself or be aware or i want you to learn how to define what what going to bed is <laughs> you know it's it's really um i'm going to just address the viewers there because it's it's really powerful what you just said pastor t because many of us we think um, going to bed is resting yeah um, this is the time that your day is done you've been so busy throughout the day and you're done yeah but no no you are actually being transported to another realm you are entering into another realm wow and now this realm affects everything that happens when you wake up wow and that's why we are missing it because i'm going to bed uh i'm tired like what you were saying uh i'm going to rest but when you wake up, you're a different person. Yeah. Merely because of you entered into a world that you are not aware of. Wow. I, I would want you to call it the dream world. And now Job is teaching us something here. He's saying God is speaking, not just once, not just twice. Mm -hmm. God is speaking. And how is he speaking? He is speaking through in a dream. What you are calling, it was just a mere dream. Mm. It's actually what is happening in the spirit realm. Wow. But please, I want you, our viewers, I want you to really understand this. What you are saying, a mere dream. It's happening. Things, they start in the spirit. And the physical is just the manifestation of that which have happened already in the spirit. That's why now you see that you are dreaming. Uh, you are eating in your dream. And you woke up, you have a, a tummy ache. Or you woke up with a sickness from nowhere. Yeah. Or you, 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 you were sleeping with somebody in the dream. You woke up and your spirit is weakened. What's the connection? Why am I being weakened? Yeah. Yet it was just a dream, yeah. which means it's not a dream. Because it was actually happening. It was happening. So I want you, uh, viewers, before we go anywhere, I want you to take your dreams seriously because this is God speaking. And verse 15 is saying, in a dream, this is how God is speaking to us. In a vision of night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings are upon the bed. Mm. So this is a crucial moment. When you are going to bed, this is a crucial moment. So uh, before we go and start to talk about spirit husband, I want you to... Uh, be aware that your bed is an altar. Wow. That's that's really powerful. And I'd like everybody to take note of that because the, the way you have actually defined it in a different aspect, mm -hmm. like your bed is your altar. Yeah. And most of us, we think our beds are where we rest. No, it's an altar. Because remember, what what, what is an altar? An altar is a platform that connects. Yeah the physical and the spirit realm wow. that's what an altar is it's a place that connects what's in the spirit and what's in the physical they're meeting so i want you to understand that that bed it's an altar <laughs> that's really powerful because i think we had a a, a prayer session when was it last night yeah. or the night before where you were asking a question i think it's two nights ago yeah. where we were being asked what is an, an altar, altar. Yeah. so take note of that answer so your bed it's an altar. This is where you are receiving information. This is where you are fighting. Some of you are fighting in your dreams. And now, if the altar is defiled, called the bed, which means you need to make it sacred, whether you are married or you are not married, that bed has to be sacred. Why? A bed is an altar. This is where God is speaking to us in a dream, in a vision of night, when deep sleep falls upon men, where in slumberings upon bed. Mm. So we want to put that aside. Before you go to bed, I want you to go before the Lord and you begin to pray. Yeah. 
before you you sleep i want you to have your time on that altar we are no longer calling it a bed let's call it an altar, altar. that's right i'm meditating on the word of god because i'm about to go into another world now pay attention to this then he opened whilst you are on that altar mm -hmm. then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instruction pay attention to this your physical body mm -hmm. is dead yes and the lord is coming to open your ears what part of your ears are open mm -hmm. these are spiritual ears because you're in the dream mm -hmm. you're in the vision that's right these are a uh, uh, spiritual uh, uh, eyes, ears that are being opened and is giving you instructions. Instructions about what? About what's transpiring in the spirit realm. Please understand this. The instruction that the Lord is coming with are instructions on, let me, let's put it in this way. This is information. Wow. And how many of us we receive the information, but yet we wake up in the morning and we just go have breakfast. We yeah. go about our day. We forget about the instructions. Yeah. It's we, powerful what you just said there because it's instructions that you're receiving from the Lord. Instructions. Now, now, pay attention. Let, let's go. Let, let's continue. Verse 17. That he may withdraw men from his purpose and hide the pride from men. Amen. The instructions are coming to discipline you. They are coming to give you orders on what you should do. The instructions are given so that you know, I'm not supposed to go left, I'm supposed to go right, according to the instructions. Wow. The instruction is actually to tell you that remove this part of your life, probably behavior, character. Because there's an altar, remember, that is fighting against you. And the instructions are, if you want to win this battle, operate in this manner wow. conduct yourself in this manner that's why there's a word instruction so there are certain things that you are being told by the lord not to do so would actually um have a hurdle that we'll have to get over if for people that don't remember those instructions well, yeah. i think that's a discussion for another day but yes i just wanted to throw that in to say for those that don't remember yeah. that dreams, then you, are you missing out on it, It's an attack on its own. Not remembering a dream. It's an attack on its own. Because you cannot apply that which you, you don't recall. That's right. So it's actually an attack. The devil will make you will touch on that when we are touching on the dream segment. Yes, we'll touch on that on part two. On part two. So now, listen to this. And he keepeth back his soul from the pit. That's protection there. That's right. And the protection is coming from application of an instruction. I want you to understand this. Verse 18. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. Where is the sword? All this is happening in the dream world. Now, our viewers, I want you to really listen carefully and understand. Your life is destroyed in the spirit realm first before it, uh, it uh, manifests in the physical. Wow. The swords that you are seeing, people that want to kill you, people that want to do this in the dream, it's actually a warning that the Lord is giving you so that you apply the instruction so that the sword won't destroy you. So application of an instruction brings protection. So if you ignore the instruction, even though you are going to church, You'll be destroyed. Wow. So how does that aspect of, um, because remember viewers, we are discussing five signs that you're under attack. So how does the dreams fit in into the spiritual spouse attacks? Okay. So what will the foundation we laying now, we want to look at the type of dreams. All right. That one, when you are seeing this kind of dreams, you know that I'm married in the spirit. Hence, you actually saying instructions are coming from the dreams. Yes. So then you have to look out to see what are your dreams telling you? Are you yeah. actually having intercourse with the person in the dream? Are you being told something in the dream? Are you communicating with someone? Every in the dream? dream is coming with an instruction. Mm -hmm. If you are looking, there's somebody, we are going to touch on that. That's right. Uh, every dream 
always have a code. Every dream has an instruction. When you are seeing a dream, look more on the instruction part. Wow. Okay, we, we want to, to proceed. <laughs> dream number one, the type of dreams uh, that shows you are married in the spirit. That's right. Having sexual intercourse with a man or a woman in the dream. Then you are married. I always teach and say there are two things that you're not supposed to do. Eat in the dream and sleep and have sexual intercourse in the dream. Those two things. When you are seeing that is happening, we want to recall or repeat that. Two things that you are not supposed to do in the dream. Sleeping with somebody in the dream and eating in the dream. Understand that it's happening. So now, probably it's a man. I want us to go to the book of First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15 to 17. First Corinthians chapter uh chapter 6 verse 15 and uh to our viewers you drop the comments uh in the comment section if there is a question or there is something that you need clarity about uh feel free uh to drop the the comments that's right so we shall be going to the book of first corinthians 6 mm -hmm. verse 15 yeah 15 to 17 15 to 17 Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Mm -hmm. Shall I then take the members of Christ and mm -hmm. make them the members of an halot? Mm -hmm. God forbid. Mm. What? Know ye not that he which he is joined to an halot mm -hmm. is one body? For two, said he, shall be one flesh. Okay, listen to this. W what makes human beings one is the joining part. And there, we're referring to sex or worshipping of idols. Mm -hmm. uh, as we are going to go on, we are going to touch on how the spirit husband get, came into my life. Now, pay attention to this. The fact that you are joined, you are having sexual intercourse in the dream, it shows that you are one body with that personality. It might be somebody that you know. Uh, in the dream, they, the devil can wear a face. Don't worry about the face. He can wear a face yeah. of uh, your 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 ex boyfriend, your ex girlfriend, your ex wife, your ex husband. The fact that they are coming, understand this. There is a connection in the spirit realm. Wow. They are one body. And I was about to to ask that on behalf of the viewers there because. Um, we have had during our counseling sessions um, and in my past experiences, we've had people that say, um, but in the dream, it was my boyfriend. Yeah. Or this one was very drastic because yeah. there was in, this individual in Canada one time who mentioned, but I saw my father's face. Yeah. And this individual is coming to yeah. have sexual intercourse. Yes. So how do we explain that? Okay. So the devil can use faces. Let's not, whenever we are dealing with the spirit spouse. Yeah. Don't look at the face. Because uh -huh. the enemy can come in uh, with a face. The, I want you to focus on the act. Not the face. The fact that there's somebody that is coming uh, to sleep with you in the dream. Already, there's no two ways about it. That's a spirit husband. That's a spirit wife. Now, uh, for example, somebody is a woman. And say, there's a woman that is coming to sleep with me. Or is a man. There's a man that is coming to sleep with me. And mind you, these are not homosexuals. But they are seeing the act happening in the dream. What is the meaning? We'll touch more uh, on that as we are dealing on how the spirit husband or the spirit wife came. But already is telling you who initiated you into that spirit world. Can we just elaborate more on that, Pastor T? What, what do we mean by that statement? Okay. Already it's telling you who initiated you, meaning there's a male person yeah. that initiated you Into, if you are male. Yes. Who, who ushered the spirit husband, the spirit wife in your life? Wow. If it was a sangoma and a male sangoma, then you are going to see a man coming to sleep with a man. 
if it was a woman who initiated you into that, probably the spirit husband or spirit wife, they came in your life because of an incision. Okay? Now, the one that initiated that is the one who wears the face. So, which means it's a soul tie. Uh, we are going to touch more uh, on that on the next segment. But remember, spirit husband, they operate with soul ties. Very, very important. Let's not miss that. Spiritual husbands, spiritual spouses, they operate, they are strengthened more by soul ties. Okay, so you're having sexual intercourse with a man or a woman in the dream. And uh, number two, you are dreaming about somebody coming to pay Lobola. And uh, everybody is gathered. Uh, you know, your fathers are there. Your, 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 your siblings are there. But you can't see the men paying the Lobola in the dream. And we're still talking about, it's still the same category as dreams. It's, we're touching on dreams. That's point number one, dreams. And we are touching on the types of dreams, examples uh, that shows that are married in the spirit. So probably it's a Lobola that's being paid or it's a wedding whereby everybody's there at the wedding. But you can't, uh, sometimes you don't see the groom or the bride. But you're well-dressed. Or uh, you don't see uh, the one you are wedding with and you don't even know anybody in the ceremony. Wow. Everybody that's there, they are there. You, you have never met them. And the reason why you can't see the one who you are wedding with you don't recognize the faces of the people that are gathered, is because the, this, the wedding ceremony or the Lobola ceremony is taking place in the spirit. Wow. And we've had so many individuals um, in the past that would say something to that um, context that, you know, I had a dream and I was at a wedding, yeah. but I couldn't see who the... I, I couldn't or see. Or I was at a wedding and I looked so tattered. My wedding gown was torn yeah. or my hair was a mess. Yes. What, what is that? Remember, in the physical, the communication is something is wrong. Okay? Ah. So probably your hair is not done. Right. That's not normal. Whatever that's happening, the Lord is saying, it's not normal. It's not normal. Yeah. Something is... Or probably... Uh, you, is, you are a man, you only have a jacket, you don't even have a trouser. Wow. And you're wondering, but why, I did, why is it I'm not dressed up? Mm -hmm. Listen, the Lord is communicating with you that there's something that's not right, that's not normal. Wow. So now, immediately begin to look into what is it that I need to do to come out of that. Okay, another uh, type of dream. Uh, dream. Dreaming about children, uh, calling you Baba or Mama, but in actual life, you don't recognize them. You might have children, but you don't recognize these children that are calling you. Or you don't have children at all, but you are seeing children around you every time you close your eyes. What's the meaning of that? These children are there in the spirit already. And I really want us to, to stress this up. When you are married in the spirit, mm -hmm physical relationships or marriages are difficult to get. Some of can be married and the marriage is just sour. The marriage is just fire. The marriage is, 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 is probably being abused. There's a lot that is happening there. Or you, there is a relational failures. We're going to be touching on that again. But now, when you are seeing in the dream something that you don't have in the physical, already it shows that you are married in the spirit. Then uh, the last example, but not the least, seeing yourself in the water or you are just close to the dam or the river over and over again. So is it fair to say um, most of these or should I call them signs? Yeah. That you're being under, you're under attack mm -hmm. um, from a spiritual spouse. Mm -hmm. Is it fair to say you you mainly get it from the dreams? Is it mainly coming from the dream world, or are we still going to touch on we, we, more stuff that you'll see around? We, we are going to touch on three more, four more, uh, but now we're looking firstly on the dream because that's the foundation. Wow. Uh, in the dream, you'll never go wrong. Uh, is is the number one? I'll put it number one on the list. 
If you want to know what is happening in your life, look at your dreams. Wow. Uh, whether it's about spiritual spouses or uh, life in general, pay attention to, your dream to, your, to the dream world is accurate. Like we were saying earlier, um, that's where the instructions come from. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the last point uh, on the dreams. You're seeing yourself in water. Uh, or you're always around a dam. You are either you're playing in a river, and sometimes the river that you have never been there, but you keep on dreaming that particular place. Or water bodies. Or a water bodies. It might be a dam. It might be an ocean. And each and every time, uh, I remember there was a, a daughter that we were counseling, and you were saying, sometimes I can tell that I'm under the water. Wow. And I'm in the dream. I'm actually surprised, but how is it I'm able to breathe? Because remember, the spiritual spouses, their origin is under the water. The may made spirit, a half fish, a half human being. This is the origin. We are going to touch more on the where did this come from using biblical examples. Now pay attention to this. Wow. I think I remember, um, sorry for interrupting there, Pastor Tibi. I think I remember when I was growing up, we used to hear <coughs> stories about, um, there's a place in Zimbabwe, I think they call it Victoria Falls. Yeah. Um, we used to hear stories about mermaids being yeah. there. Yeah. So are they originally in the water? Is that what you yes. said? The original? Ye yes. The kingdom of darkness, the, it, its operation more is under the water. Wow. Uh, would we'll, we'll, we'll look into things like that when we are touching about marine powers. Yes. They operate more on the water. I think this is going to be really interesting because we'll have um, so many series yeah. Um, yeah. based on this because like I was saying in the beginning, this is something that is so crucial mm. because a lot of people are, are attacked by the yeah. spirit. So we'll continue having part one, part yeah. two, part That's three, right. part up until we get to part ten. So we will be covering. We're going to um, cover all, all that. these. Yeah. So uh, you are seeing yourself. Uh, you are surrounded by water, uh, or you're just walking and you start to smell fish, and there's nowhere where fish is, or you are afraid of water in the physical, but you are seeing it in the dream. Uh, whereby there are certain people that they, they can't cross a river. Uh, I remember of uh, a daughter that even when it rains, just seeing uh, you know, a portal filled with water, she could not go close to. Oh. Then you know there's a connection with the marine powers. All right, number two. So number one, we said dreams. Mm. Number two, a pattern of relational or marital failures. A pattern of relational uh, or uh, relational failures or marital failures. So we're talking of you start a relationship and it doesn't last. Wow. So are we actually saying this is a pattern of um, many of people out there that we see they've been married four times, they've yeah. been married five times, yeah. and it's not because um, they're doing anything wrong. No. Just one finishes and. and so it's a pattern that keeps... It, it's a pattern. It's, it, it can be relational or these spirits, they will even allow you to get married, but you don't stay in the marriage. There's an example that I want us to look uh, from the Word of God. Quickly turn with me in the book of John chapter 4, verse 16 to 19. John chapter 4, verse 16 uh, to 19. There's something there that I want us to uh, to look at. John chapter 4, if you are there, Mama, you can, uh, you can read for us. John chapter 4, verse 16 to 19. Verse 16 to 19. Mm -hmm. Jesus had said unto her, Go call thy husband and come hither. Mm -hmm. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Uh -huh. Jesus said unto her, thou hast said, that, thou hast said well, I have no husband. Mm -hmm. For thou hast had five husbands, mm -hmm. and he whom now has is not thy husband. Yeah. In that said, thou truly. L look at this. Yeah. Read verse 19. Listen to what the woman is saying. The woman said unto him, sir. Uh -huh. The woman said, said unto him, sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Now, you know what's happened with the Samaritan woman. We, we, 
we sometimes judge this woman. But I want us to go back to the conversation between Jesus and the woman. Jesus started by saying, go and call that husband. Husband. Not boyfriend. Uh -huh. Go and call thy husband. Remember, Jesus is a prophet. And he knows how to choose uh, his words perfectly. You will not make a mistake in word selection. Go and call the husband. Mm -hmm. And the woman say, I have none. Mm -hmm. And he said, you said, well, because you had four or five of them. And Look, the one staying with you is not even your husband. Wow. This woman is not a prostitute. No. So he had one, she had one, and a relationship failed. A marriage failed. And she chose another. A relationship failed. And she chose another. A relationship failed. To the extent that even the one that she, she was with, the marriage was not going to stand. Why? The relationship is in the spirit. The marriage, she had a, she had a marriage in the spirit that is causing all these marriages or relationships to go down. To the extent that she became a laughing stock in the society. Because That's why she kept on going to get the water when nobody was when there. When nobody was there. Because I, I know, I didn't grow up in the, in the rural areas, but I, I know that you get water in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, you get morning water in the mornings, you don't get it in that. It, it, in that because it's either dirty or it's not even there. I, I grew up in the rural areas. I, I, I have that understanding. When you want water, you fetch it early in the morning. It's not dirty. But the fact that she's choosing this particular time to go because everybody is calling uh, her names. And this is a situation probably with some of you here saying, Pastor, you know, when I start this a, a, a relation, I want it to work. But for some reasons, it's not, it's, it will end. So I want you to look at this. A pattern in your relationships. A pattern in your marriages. There are people that when they get married, they know after every two years, the marriage will go. After every five years, the marriage will finish. After six months, the marriage will go. Divorce. Or a relationship, you know that when I start a relationship right now, so a relational failures is in two parts. Mm. There are people that do, they don't get into a relationship at all. Nobody's interested with them. No one. You know that, you know, I, 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 I don't remember the last time I had a relationship. Then there's a category where you enter into a relationship, mm -hmm. but it doesn't say. So I want you to look in, in the, uh, from this angle. There is somebody who is invisible, but very real, chasing away people around you. Wow. Or um, is it fair to say it's the same, the invisible person that you're talking about, is it the same individual that, or the same spirit, that can usher the same type of people. Yes. Because you get people that say, I have been in relationships, mm -hmm. I have been dating, but these men are all the same, or these women are all the same, yeah. and they all come with the yes. foul behavior. There's always, remember, a spiritual spouse is empowered by an altar. Hear me. When we are talking of a spiritual husband, when we are talking of a spiritual wife, there is an altar that is empowering them to come. I, I didn't want us to touch on this because uh, it's something that is coming. Understand that. The reason why there is relational failures, the reason why uh, I start this, no matter how much care, how careful you are trying to be on that relationship, how good you are trying to be, it will always end. And to some, you have even told your pastor, let me start this relationship and I'll tell the pastor. You go to the pastor and say, I have a man. 
and that relationship is breaking right in front of the pastor. Why? There are things that you yourself, number one, you need to break. It's not about you going to church. It's not about you tithing. It's not about you sowing a seed. It's not about you being in praise and worship or you're a pastor, a bishop or whatever that you are. Whenever you see a pattern, I want you to understand that there is a real invisible husband or wife in the spirit causing things not to move. So now, uh, we, we were teaching about altars and uh, we said anything with a pattern is an, it's an altar. Anything with a pattern you know after two months, the relationship will go. After six months, that relationship will fail. Uh, after this, you'll find out that, ah, you know what, this person was lying. Uh, uh, you know, there's nothing that's going on. I don't want you to be bitter with people. I want you to know, have an understanding that there is a man, there is a woman in the spirit, and you need to deal with that. So whenever you are seeing... Uh, uh, a, a pattern of relational or marital failures, yeah. then you need to understand that as a spirit husband. Point number three. You lose interest in a relationship. You're losing interest in a relationship. Or the other part, whether it's a boyfriend or the girlfriend or the wife or the husband, all of a sudden they lose interest. You know, that's that's really deep because we we've had a lot of people that are in marriages yeah. not even relationships yeah marriages yes. and they lose interest and yeah. that's how extramarital affairs start yes and then after that extramarital affairs start you like but what did i do yes look at this the spirit husband deals with your emotions he works with your mind mm -hmm. That's why now, uh, especially married couples, you need to understand. By the way, whenever we are coming with this topic, we, we're talking of what we went through and we started to ask the Holy Spirit, what is it that we need to do? That's right. So I want you to really understand this is not from a theological school. This is from conversations of the Holy Spirit. So uh, please, I want you to pay attention. And it's coming from what we've actually been through. We have been yeah. through that. It's, in, the past. Uh, in the past, we have been through that. And sometimes the devil will always try to come and knock the door again. So I want you to make sure that you, you are well listening and you, you are applying this. Now, listen to this. The spirit husband, since you are one with him or her, mm -hmm. he does have an access because you are one body. Okay. So he can use your mouth. He can use your mind. He can use your emotions. That's why you, you see that a husband killed the wife. And later they regret, what did I do? I don't even know what happened. I have no idea. Uh, you know, I think we, we have uh, somebody that we know that the husband killed the wife killed the sister of the wife that's right with a gun and we're talking about something that happened a month Re or two months ago. recently yeah what is it that's happening something has taken over there's something that you are joined with in the spirit that's the most dangerous part what are you joined to he was joined with with christ is one body what about if i'm not joined with christ i'm joined to a halot which means i'm one body with the halot in other words, the harlot in the spirit have access in my all oh, my mind, my my uh, you know the way that I think, the way that I do things. In other words, it's the spirit wife or the spirit husband that is manifesting without me knowing. I'm thinking that I'm bored. This person, I'm bored. You know, you lose interest, you lose feelings with the person when they touch you you feel like you know there's something that's happening and you are fighting the feelings why am i behaving like that this is my wife this is my husband why am i feeling like that there are many homes that we know where uh, uh the wives are saying you know what i don't want this person to touch me that's right i have no feelings for this person but you wonder but come on you guys, you married each other. What's the problem? That's the spirit husband. That's the spirit wife. So when you are losing interest in a relationship, 
or uh, you find out that uh, you know this man is crazy about this woman. Mm. That's a boyfriend and girlfriend. Crazy. You know, buying flowers, is doing all these chocolate, things. Chocolates. Chocolates, everything. And all of a sudden, the guy changes. So, the spirit wife has been activated. Or oh, the it, spirit husband in the woman. Has been activated. Yes. Because again, they also have a way of giving you a mask. Because I know we're going to come to a point where we're talking about how to deal with it. Yeah. The remedies and stuff. Yes. But quickly, in that moment, now that if a person is, is listening to this and saying, but I'm going through this, yeah. I'm experiencing this, what can a person do at that moment? You're seeing that, you know, things are going wrong. Yeah. I'm, I'm losing feelings. I, I don't want to be in this house, you know. Then what do you do at that moment? So uh, we, we're running back to first Corinthians. What are you joined to? And are you aware of it? Because this, at this point, you don't use your mind. Because your mind is telling you off. Wow. So there's no way you can come out of it at that point. It, it, the only thing that you need to run to is he who is joined with Christ is one body. So run back to Christ. Uh, run back to Christ. We are going to be touching on how to uh, you know, destroy, how to divorce a spirit husband. But before we go there, all that you have to do is simple. I am running to Christ. Because don't use your mind. Because mostly your mind is not there. You are seeing all the wrongs in this person. You're looking at the person even without them doing anything wrong. You feel irritated. You feel bored. You, you feel like you can kill them. You feel like, you know what? I can kill this woman at any time. I can kill this husband, this relation, this boyfriend. I, can, I don't want to see him. There are people that will say, I'll only miss him when he's not there. We've had so, instances well, like that. Yeah. yeah. When he's not there. The moment that he's there, it's a war zone. What is happening? The spirit husband is a way of putting a mask. Okay. You start to look like a Something that you're not. When I'm looking at you, I don't see all this beauty. I see something different. Wow. I, and, uh, as the moment that I'm looking at you, the mask is actually uh, putting more hatred in me. That's right. And you don't know. Have you seen people that get divorced? Uh, then after three months, the guy will come back or the wife will come back and say, I made a mistake. And another month, a year again, they, they do that. And when the, all these divorcings are done, the person is regretting. What is causing the regret? If really this was a choice or a decision, there's a mask that had been placed. So I want you to understand, in this spirit realm, images, they matter. Remember when God created you, he said, let us create men in our own image. That's right. Which means there's another image. That's an evil mask that the devil can place. So the, 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 the husband will start to think that the wife is so ugly. And that's when they're going to have girlfriends. And after having girlfriends, the marriage is breaking. And after the marriage is breaking, the girlfriends, they'll run away. And they want to go back to the wife. The wives will take them back. And again, the same thing happens. Why? The person is looking and saying, I can't be with this person because this is not a person according to what they are seeing. All right. So you are in you lose interest in a relationship or the other part will lose interest in you. Uh, if you're writing, I really want you to write this. No matter how much you try, all feelings will be gone only to come back when the relationship is totally destroyed or a person has moved on. Hear that? Wow. That's where now you see this uh, husband is fighting. This wife is fighting. But you said you're leaving. What really happened? The spirit husband or the spirit wife rose up. Not because you don't have love for the person. No. But the reason why they are rising up. Remember, if you are married in the spirit, you cannot be married in the physical. Although it can happen? Yes. Although you can actually get into a matrimonial yes. home. Yes. But then it won't work. Uh, I've seen people that get in marriage and they want out. I've seen people that are in marriages and they are frustrated. They are not happy. 
because marriage it involves happiness that's right marriage involves a real marriage it it is talking about love it's talking about peace and there are people that are in marriages and they're saying pastor i want out <laughs> mm. so you can be married that's a very good point you are raising you can be married physically have children but you are married in the spirit and how many of these marriages nowadays are experiencing this how many a households lot. a lot are experiencing this yeah. because you keep on asking yourself but how did i get into this marriage yeah what is it that i'm doing here just wait until you come out that's when you realize that the enemy took away something from me and there are many homes right now they are in marriage they are they have a, a house they have children but somebody wants to go somebody is saying is i would rather let me just die than to stay here that's what the devil wants the spirit husband wants that scenario so you leave you and sometimes we have children mm. but there is the atmosphere in the place is not right okay so no matter how much you try all feelings will be gone only to come back when the relationship is totally destroyed or a person have moved on uh, point number two on that same point a person coming into your life loving you only to drastically change the at, at, at the point that you can't recognize if this is the same person like is this the husband that i married is this the wife that i married is this my boyfriend that you used to call after two minutes what what they just drastically they change they become totally a different a person. a different person okay number four the signs that shows that are married in the spirit you are attracted to the same type of people that cannot commit and this is it falls under what we brought up earlier on and we said we'll elaborate more yes on it yeah because these are the same kind of people here we're talking about the traits yes of the individuals that are going to say you know what i just want to remain boyfriend and girlfriend yeah yes yes they can't commit and the reason why uh, look at this number one if you are fighting against the spirit husband what weakens him not to remove okay what weakens him is when there is legality of your union in the physical so he doesn't mind if your girlfriend and boyfriend he doesn't mind if there's no parental blessing understand that now that's why you see there are people that sometimes they get married okay and they start to fight the in-laws the son-in-law is fighting the father-in-law whether they are kissing and the parents you marry you 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 gave your lobola you did everything but you open your mouth and you begin to curse or to dishonor the parents the spirit husband is right because wow. that blessing is very important that blessing parental blessing where they cannot point something against you that you said this you did this they can't point that which means you now have power over that spirit husband. So you can uh, be powerless even after you paid your lobola. But there is no uh, blessing from the parents. Both sides. There is no blessing at all. The spirit husband capitalizes on that. Why? Because what is regarded as marriage in the spirit realm is the consent given by the parents. Uh, the other things will do but that is what blocks these spirits once that is broken so the devil will try after you put all those things you give them all that they, they they needed the devil will make sure that there is a sour relationship between you the daughter-in-law the son-in-law with your in-laws especially parents wow or um what's happening a lot nowadays you get so many people that are cohabiting yes but there's no marriage yeah the, then you can't fight a spirit husband from that from that platform and those are the relationships that we're dealing with nowadays you find somebody saying that's my husband but there was nothing that nothing was at all and now you can't pray breaking an anti-marriage from that angle wow. 
the spirit husband or the spirit wife will be laughing at you then the the church body is in trouble yes um us as pastors then we're going to experience problems because the same people will keep on coming saying but i'm experiencing this yes. in my relationship yeah i'm experiencing this in my marriage but if you trace back there is no marriage there's, there's no wife there's no husband so in how other do words, you deal with that already there's an open door because what's happening in the home is fornication fornication and adultery it strengthens the men in the spirit that you'll never go wow that's why you see uh people that are troubled more with the spirit husband i'm talking of the singles yes why is it difficult for them to be delivered because the devil will come and whisper it's just one boyfriend you can sleep with him you can sleep with the air but it's actually fornication it's fornication and that's what the spirit husband remember the body of christ we cannot destroy this altar if there's fornication in our lives if there's adultery in our lives mm -hmm. I want you to hear it from us. You can't destroy it. You have to remove that. And what is fornication? You are sleeping with somebody that you are not married to. That's right. What is adultery? You are still sleeping with somebody that is married to someone. And that's what the, the spirit has. The devil will come and whisper and say, don't worry. It's, it's not bad. It's just one person. Mm -hmm. you, you are not sleeping around. Or you have children with this person. But the fact that that parental blessing, because it's what overshadow, it's what weakens that spirit, that parental consent, that blessing, is what you need to seek for. That's right. Okay, so you are attracted at the same, uh, at the same type of people that cannot commit. Uh, we, we have actually cancelled a lot of people that say, uh, the men that comes in my life, all of them are married. Yes. Every person coming to say, I love you, they ever, either have the same character or they have the same status. Married. Marriage. I find out later that there's a wife or I find out later that there's, there's a husband. Later. And these things are hidden to you. And look, the moment you are engaging to, the, to that, it's called adultery in the spirit realm, whether you know it or not. Wow. And that strengthens, it really gives more power to the men in the spirit or the women in the spirit. Wow. The church body really needs to rise up because this is the majority of individuals now. Yeah. Because in society. We, again, with the church, we are not touching that. As long as the person is a tither, as long as the person, they, they come to church like that, we don't touch on that. And that's what is weakening the body of Christ. So we give them positions. We give them uh, responsibilities. And by so doing, they are destroyed more. Not only by the devil, but by God himself. So I, I really want you to, let's set things right. That's right. Very, very important. So now, you are attracted to people that cannot commit. A married man cannot commit. Point number two. A drunkard. The person is, in a, is addicted to alcohol. That he can't save that money. He cannot, uh, you know, uh, put things together and say, this is what I'm planning for this coming. Yes, this is what I'm going, we're going to do. He cannot commit. His mind is in alcohol, not in anything. To you, we boyfriend and we girlfriend. We good. And you are saying, Pastor, these are the type of people that are coming in my life. Mm. Partners that cannot be faithful to one person. That's point number three. A partner, you you are always approached by people that are womanizers. Women that can sleep around. They can't commit to one person. Remember, all this is done uh, to weaken you. So now, uh, a good example on this point. Remember, we, we'll teach more about soul ties. That's right. Uh, a soul tie is formed when a man and a woman, they sleep together. So the spirit of husband knows the power of agreement or unity. In the spirit, not what you are saying verbally. 
So you make you to join with people that opposes your belief mm -hmm. or in the spirit opposing your prayers. For example, the men that came to approach you, you are a prayer warrior, you are in church, you are seeking the face of the Lord. The man is a cheater and he can sleep with prostitutes whilst he is in a relationship with you. Look at the person that this person is hooked to. She doesn't even know how many men she had slept with. Which means the spirits in that woman that the man is sleeping with, they now have access into your prayer life. Wow. Or it's not probably even prostitutes. He's sleeping with this woman, he's sleeping with that woman that have different altars. You know what is destroying Solomon? What is it that's destroying Solomon? The guy is so confused. Hmm. That's why you see Solomon, his father never built an evil altar. But Solomon did because of the women that he was connected to. And concubines. Concubines. Wow. We're talking of thousand hmm. females, thousand souls that are connected to thousand different uh, altars. That's what made the guy to fall down. So now pay attention. If you are serious about breaking a spirit husband, what you have to do, number one, is to make sure that soul ties are broken. We are going to touch this in length. That's soul right. ties. What is it that is actually making me to be attracted to this person? Remember I said, these men are being sent by an altar. We can't override that. They are being said by an altar. Where there's married people, who is telling them that uh, on this one uh, you go if you are married? Who is telling them? Which means there's something that is pushing them. Now, the last one, attracted to the same type of people that cannot commit. The last point on that one, partners influenced by their parents in marital decision making. I've seen many uh, women uh, that their relationship failed because the mother said she's not a, 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 a marriage type and the, and, the, and the boyfriend had to listen. I've seen many men that let go of good and beautiful women, powerful women, merely because of the father who said, not in my home. Because the spirit husband works with that. So he'll give you, if he knows that, uh, you know what, at the end of the day, you'll be married mm -hmm. by this person. You make sure that there is a door. Let me send a drunkard. Let me send a fornicator. Or let me send somebody who cannot make his own decision when marriage is concerned. You can't marry her. You can't marry him because of one, two, three. And the man will say yes. And probably it's five years down the line. You've been in a relationship with this person for five years. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, a relative will rise up and say, not him, wow. not her. The last uh, point, then we are going to move to part two. Tragedy happens to a person who wants to commit. Either they get involved in an accident, mm -hmm. or money is gone, or sickness. Although we have seen the extreme um, ones where a person actually loses their lives. Yes, yes. like death. Yes. Somebody said, I'm going to marry this one. Mm -hmm. And two weeks down the line, the person is gone. To the extent that it's known where people, they say, if you want to die, go to this person. That's right. Now, that person is controlled by a serious a spirit husband. The person who um, the individuals want to commit. Okay, so for example, any woman that I say, I love you, they'll die. Okay, so the other party, the one that doesn't die, the, the, the one that stays. Yes. Is the one that actually has a deadly yes. spirit husband And wife. it is strengthened more by covenants. Wow. Or fornication? Th that is only to add okay. the power to the spirit husband. Oh, th this man was given a true blood. It's a, a serious covenant. And this guy will say, I'll kill anybody who gets close. So you, you find out that there are people like that where you can mention that this person died, that person died, that person died. So then you know there's a spirit husband. I want us to pray. Uh, 
do you have anything that you want to say before we uh, we pray or we move to the next segment? No, um, I just want to say uh, this is really powerful and very informative. Yeah. We thank you so much, Pastor T, for actually um, enlightening us because like I was saying before, so many people are affected by this, mm. but they have no idea on where do I go? Yeah. How do I? And some of the people have been uh, tormented by the spirit from the age of two, yes. the age of five, yeah. growing up yeah. thinking, but what is wrong with me? I can't keep a relationship. Marriages are breaking. Yeah. So we really thank the Lord. And I'm looking forward to part two. Is we it part two? Part two, yes. yes. This is part one. So I want you to uh, stay put. Part two is coming. Uh, we are going to be touching on uh, altars that support the spirit husband. We are going to touch on uh, how do I break away from the spirit husband. That's right. And uh, so I want you to stay tuned. Please, I want you to share this broadcast with as many people as you can. Right. And uh, we want you to subscribe to the, to the channel. Uh, hit that notification bell. We just want you to, uh, we're asking you to stretch your hands. We are going to pray. Father, thank you for your grace and your power. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We heard your word and let this word transform us. Let this word change us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we know that you are bringing salvation. You are bringing strength. You are bringing restoration in the body of Christ. And as we are listening to this word, oh God, let our eyes, oh Lord, be transformed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord. I want you to watch uh, part two. Subscribe uh, to our channel. That's and right. God bless you. God bless you.